afternoon, everybody, and welcome to day six of the eight day Get Set Parent Children's Literature, Art, and Music Festival in association with Vishwarang. So, kids, hope you've been enjoying the last five days of sessions, meeting wonderful authors, going through art sessions, and doing so much more. In case you have missed it, all you need to do is go to the playlist which says Children's Literature Festival and you can see the complete list of videos, 21 sessions over 8 days. So you can go and catch the videos and you can see your favorite ones again and again. So today kids, we have three very exciting sessions. First, we're going to learn about Madhubani painting. Right? It's a tribal art form and it's going to be very interesting. So we'll do a workshop, a demonstrative workshop. Uh, then something very interesting. Uh, we're going to learn to draw Supandi from Tinkle, right? So that's going to be very exciting. We have a very, you know, celebrity cartoonist who's going to be coming here and teaching you. And finally, we have a storytelling and interaction with author Nandini Nair. She's written over 50 children's books and we're going to speak to her and listen to her storytelling. So there's a lot in store today, three back-to-back -back sessions. But before that, you know what to do. Subscribe by pressing the bell icon so that you are, um, you know, updated with all my videos. And also follow me on Instagram and Facebook to stay tuned. <laughs> So kids, the first session we have today is an art workshop which Salomi Parik Gandhi is going to do for us and it's about Madhubani art. So did you know that Madhubani art is more than 2,500 years old and it originates from the Mithila region and uh, it uses very bright colors, intricate patterns and of course is very connected to nature. So to tell us more about it and show us how we can, you know, bring Madhubani art into our own drawing books at home, let's uh, attend this workshop by Salomi Parekh. And you can do it at your own pace. So you can have a look at it now, replay it again, and pause and draw along with her later as well. So Salomi is from Arti Bits and she's an arts enthusiast. She's a, you know, very famous artist. And, um, you know, she also uses art therapy on uh, various patients. So let's get right into the session on Madhubani Art. Thank you, Pallavi, for introducing me and inviting me for the Children's Literature, Art and Music Festival. I'm happy to be a part of this amazing event. Hi, kids. This is Salomi Parekh from Arti Bits, the art studio. Today, I'm going to do Madhubani art with you all. You know what is Madhubani art? I'll quickly brief you all on that, okay? So Madhubani art is one of the oldest Indian folk art. It was originated in the Mithila region of Bihar and Nepal. And hence, it was also called as the Mithila art. So in ancient times, this Mithila art or Madhubani art was done on canvas, handmade papers, um, cloth with the help of uh, natural objects uh, like trees, the twigs of the, bran the branches, uh, mat sticks and natural colors like dyes were used to paint them. Very bright and vibrant colors are used in this painting and mythological character like god, goddesses, then animals, birds, sun, trees, all these natural elements were also used to create this art. So basically these forms are drawn and then they are patterned and decorated in their own individual perception and then the whole complete uh, painting is created. So today I'm going to do this painting with a six year old uh, girl and um, we'll see how it comes up so let's begin our work okay hi Renika hi how are you fine so today we are going to create Madhubani painting so what is Madhubani painting in Madhubani painting you can draw mythological figures that is god goddesses fishes animals, sun, birds, etc, etc. And you have to design them and decorate them. So we'll start. 
Yes. So you make a nice big bump here. A nice U. Super. You can make another ulta U. Reverse U. That's excellent. Now from here, make a nice curve and take it up. Like a reverse C. Excellent. Can we curve it a little more? Very good. Now from here, you go the other way around. An outward curve. Very nice. Now, just join these with bumps. Excellent. Can we make it a little more curvy here? Like this. Okay? Okay. Now, we'll add the fins. Now, the fins also, we'll make a curvy slanting line going out. Very good. Join it with bumps. That's brilliant. Now, the same way, we go out here with a curve. Excellent. You can still take it a little more out. Brilliant. And now again join it with curves. Take it in. Yes. Very nice. That's nice. Now we make a nice curvy line. Reverse C. Yes. We make a big circle for the eye. We can make one more tiny circle inside. Okay. And can you make a border along with this? One more. That's superb. So our fish is ready. Okay, now we'll create some designs inside this. Okay. So you can make bumps. You can make up-down lines. You can make uh, standing lines. Again, after like two more standing lines, then again you can make bumps your call you can create your own design however you want to that's super very good you can continue you can add different designs also very good. Make such designs which you can color easily. Don't make too tiny things. Okay. You still can continue and finish the whole uh, tail. Now you can make some circles inside the tail. Will you be able to color all these circles? Yes. Okay. So you can go on making more circles in the tails if you want. You can make them anyhow. Don't, don't join them. Don't join them. You can make one more here and that's excellent. You can create some design here as well. What would you like to create? Up down lines. Okay. Make sure you can you will be able to color them nicely. Now do the same thing here. Again up down. Excellent. Now you can add another fish here if you want to. You can make a half fish. Yes. Or you can uh, later on add weeds if you want to. 
uh, or you can make a small baby fish or whatever you want to. I want to make a small baby fish. Okay. So will you be able to make it by yourself or should I help you? Help. Okay. So again, like the same way, we make a reverse bump. Now we make the tail going out, again out, now you can join them, very good, add the fins, a C kind of a thing, yes, superb, now join them with bumps. Very good. Now again make the very nice. Make the eye. You can make a mouth here, just a small line inside. Very good. Create some nice design for your fish. Don't make very complicated design which you cannot color it. Okay, now you can just make maybe sleeping lines or standing lines. Yeah. something here excellent now you can add some nice weeds you know how weeds are like curvy lines creepy crawly yes just yeah you can make them as long as you want but just don't enter the fish stop and then reconnect if you want still longer then go on doing okay you can make a few thin ones also few small ones also join this you can add a few here you can extend them till here also stop start again super Very good. You want to add a few here? Make a few thin ones now. Yes. Extend it here. Very good. Super. What else do you want to add? Flowers. Okay. You can create a, a, a half flower here or maybe a full flower. You can make anything. You can make a, a heart shaped flower. 
you can make regular normal petals There we go. Finish that flower. Very good. Now you can add a few leaves like this. Some small, some big. Since you have added the flowers, we'll convert them into. You can add half a flower here. You can add like one flower here and then make a small stem kind of thing. Add one here. Excellent. You can add a small thin stem. Make a double line to it. Superb. So your paper is all full. Now we'll trace it with the black sketch pen. Okay. Tracing is you go on the pencil line and trace whatever you have done with a black sketch pen trace the fish trace everything what you have done so since she's doing it i'll quickly give you all a few tips about it uh, like she has uh, chosen fishes as her forms or elements since she wanted to create an underwater scene but if you all want to create like uh, make a peacock you all can make a peacock you all can make a branch uh, a bird sitting over it um, you can you can add as many things uh, as elements in your work then uh, you can add different patterns to it you can like uh, how she is left uh, these uh, white lines with black strokes you can create something like that like as a border to it um, she's a six year old so she's doing it with crayons as her preference you can use paints you can use gel pens um, you can you cannot completely if you don't want to color crayon the whole thing you can just add different um, uh, lines or uh, like slanting lines standing lines uh, the wavy lines and create your own thing and color a little uh, paint a little add a little sketch pen to it or glitter to it and you can create your own um, madhubani art with your uh, different uh, concepts or ideas and you all can tag us once you are done with it
super. So we erase all the pencil lines, okay? Which whatever are visible. Now, now you have to create, uh, sorry, you have to color all with different different colors. But you can still take your black sketch pen and just like instead of coloring, maybe you just draw this line and you just draw lines inside like this. That is like a border kind of a thing. Then you just leave this like this only. Color your, color your with all bright and nice colors. You can again make a border like this, like a double line, and you can again make standing lines inside like this. Something like that. You can give a complete border to your fish also. And you can color that black also if you want. Or you can make a similar kind of, you know, uh, bordering to the entire fish. You can do that also. We'll give it a try. You want me to do it? Or will you do it? Just making a quick a double line and standing lines. Maybe just here and just here. You can do that for your eye as well. Or maybe you can color this whole thing with black later. Now you can start coloring with all different bright shades.
Pero yun eh. Try not to take blue color because we'll be doing the background with the blue color. You can use any other color. You can repeat the colors also. You can repeat your colors also. You can change combinations also. Come on, quickly. You need to do a little faster. You want me to help you? No. No? Okay. I'll make the border.
you can add yellow and green for your leaves. yellow so we start doing the rest Repeat the same color in the same area. Which color are you going to take here? Green. Green. Okay. You can take this green or you can take this green. Whichever green you like. Where do you want to go? In the circles? Yes. Okay. You quickly do it here also. Super. Now, which color are we going to use here? Purple? No. Chalo. Quickly, chalo.
Are you going to repeat the same thing? Yellow and the green here? Yes. Chala. Quickly. You finish the yellow, uh, the green, I'll finish the yellow. Now the flowers. Yes. Start. Wow, that's superb shading. Chalo, we'll finish all our flowers with this, these colors, quickly. Chalo, 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 fast. Finish the flowers. Last one. Now the same way you have to finish this fish also. Okay, you can use different colors again and finish the same fish also.
now you can take a ear bud dip it inside the paint Now you can take the ear bud, dip it inside the paint and then you just make dots. Super. Go slow and easy and just press them gently. Finish the whole background like that. Just that.
you feel that the dots are coming bigger now change the side and then again do it make nice and even dots press gently Wow, that's a very neat. Thank you. Wow, so that's a very neat work. Super. Did you I like it? Did you enjoy doing it? Yes. Yeah? So next time you create Madhubani art with some other forms. Okay. Okay? Okay. Pakka? Yes. Awesome. So now we'll remove the tape. Yes. Slowly, gently. Pull it off. So that's about it kids. Hope this video was helpful and inspiring for you all. And if you still have any doubts and queries, Please be free to write in the comment section below and we will get back to you all. Thanks. Bye-bye. Lovely, wasn't it? So now we know how Madhubani art can be simplified and even little kids can practice it at home, right? Thank you, Salomi, for that very, very useful session. And kids, the next session is something super exciting. You know, I've grown up reading Tinkle comics and, uh, you know, Supandi was one of my favorite characters, the goofy guy, Supandi, right? He has a funny face and he's really, really silly. So we're going to learn how to draw Supandi from the group art director, you know, Mr. Savio from Amar Chitrakatha and Tinkle. He is going to show us how to draw Supandi. So take a quick break and come right back. So we're going to get into that session, right? So see you soon. Thank you.